Hello everyone, this is a Katarina guide. Now, we'll briefly discuss Katarina's strengths and weaknesses, followed by the rune and item setup, and then we'll take a look at her abilities. Meanwhile, on the screen, there will be a game where we play Katarina in the mid lane with this particular build. Now let's together take a look at the pros and cons of Katarina. First pros, extremely fun to play, good scaling, insane mobility, high mechanical skill roof, and now cons, very hard to master mechanics has barely any winning matchups. Sensible to burst damage, sensible to crowd controls. Electrocute is a good and consistent keystone for Katarina, and it's the best one for short trade matchups or while versing squishy champions. It makes some matchups way easier, like a Kali or Zed matchup. Conqueror is a very versatile and consistent keystone for Katarina. It can be used both on bruiser builds, full AP builds, and hybrid builds. This makes Conqueror one of the strongest options depending on the situation. First Strike is a very situational keystone and becomes very useful if the matchup we face is really impossible to kill, and it's not even worth risking your entire laning phase just to try a trade or a solo kill. Depending on the opponent's situation and the game's composition, you can make these selections. You can choose Dark Seal, Health Potion, and Stealth Ward as your starting items. For your early item pick, up to 20 minutes, you can consider purchasing Nashor's Tooth, Sorcerer's Shoes, and Magi's Soul Stealer. For your full build, after getting Storm Surge recently, you can continue with Rabadon's Death Cap and Void Staff. Veracity, passive. Daggers grant sight of their radius and will disappear after being on the ground for four seconds. You can Shunpo to any direction of the daggers. If it's close to a wall, you can even go over them. Bouncing Blade Q ability. Bouncing Blades always lands opposite from the first target struck. Since Bouncing Blades always bounces three times, try to Q2 minions into a champion. This does not draw aggro and makes the dagger land closer and faster next to the enemy. Most of the time when you engage, you start with Shunpo into preparation, then you wait to see where enemy goes, and only then you cast your Bouncing Blades. Preparation W, Ability. You become ghosted when using preparation use, preparation near a wall to Shunpo over it. Don't be afraid to just use it for the movement speed to dodge key spells or to just reset your Shunpo when chasing. The oldest trick in the book, try to set up preparation and run away so people step on it. Shunpo E, Ability. You can Shunpo to jungle plants, even to honey fruit over the wall, and allied Nidalee W Bushwhack, or Rek'Sai E Tunnel, or on enemies like Gangplanks, a Powder Keg, or Jin W Captive Audience. You can Shunpo to daggers before they land, making your Shunpo have a shorter cooldown. Shunpo resets Katarina's basic attack. Always Shunpo to enemy champions on daggers, since the Shunpo itself will not deal damage if it's not in range. This is an ultimate. Death Lotus will light up once an enemy champions gets into range. This also counts for invisible champions like Akali's W Twilight Shroud. Each dagger counts as a separate hit for Conqueror and Electrocute. You can use Ignite and Exhaust while channeling Death Lotus.